Hello! <laughs> Welcome back everyone, I'm Colby and uh, this is Ready Set Projects and do we have a fun one today? So, as you can see, the box should be sporting what's actually inside here and uh, we're gonna have to fix it. So, let me open it up really quick and we can see what is inside. For sure, I actually haven't even seen this. I uh, bought this online, used from someone. Ooh, it's looking pretty good. Aha! It's another shifter. So. Oh man. Yeah. It looks brand spanking new. It's a Fanatec shifter, but this one, uh, supposedly is broken and it's been quite the fun adventure because so i'm looking online on ebay for shifters just fun projects and stuff um anything that's fanatec that's broken and uh and i come across this one and i put in a oh, whew. so i put in a low bid on this well not a low i, I put in what i feel like i want to pay for this and then sure enough, it gets way up bidded, like even past MSRP, even buying brand new. This one's broken. And I was like, well, you know, eBay's crazy. Let's, you know, like whatever, it's lost. And then after it ends for more than it's worth, it gets reposted. I'm like, okay, well, sure. You know, he, he dealt with some bad bids and stuff and I'll just put in my low offer again my my offer that i actually think this is worth and of course it gets bid up again almost almost to msrp which makes no sense again you know it's not worth it and then he has issues again and he reposts it for a third time saying like look it's broken if if you don't realize that like you know you're gonna have to pay for it if you buy it and i put in my offer again <laughs> and then i was like you know what let me message the dude. So I actually messaged him directly and I was like, look, you're struggling and uh, I definitely want to buy it. If you want to just like give it to me for my low offer, done today. Like, you know, three weeks of dealing with this, you can have it done today if you like just want to sell it to me for that low offer. And so we came to an agreement and uh, I did buy it from him and then I got it like a week later. So he says that when he puts it in, it uh, when he plugs it into his computer, it's gonna like jumping all over the place for for what gear it's in. So we might, we're probably gonna have to break this apart and look inside. But first, let's go check it. But looking at the box and stuff that it came in, he got this in February. So this is like brand spanking new. He literally just pulled it out, plugged it into his computer, and had issues with it. So we got it for a deal. We are capable to fix it. And I'm glad that you guys are here to come along in the venture. I think the first thing to do, well, if you want, really quick, if no one's had these shifters before, um, which I, I only have had used ones, so this is like the newest I've ever seen a shifter like this. But I know the system pretty well. So this is a Club Sport Fanatec shifter. Down here you can choose whether it's in sequential or uh, H pattern. And all the sequential does is just make it so you can't actually move that sideways, but you can go up and down. And then you put it into sequential, and now you can actually... Yeah, and then you have a sequential knob you can put on there, and uh, some different cables. I think this one's for if you want to plug it into your pedals. Uh, this one's really short, so maybe this is directly into your wheelbase, and... This might be like old style because it's like that old plug. And you've got some T-nuts because there's some channels here along the edge that you can slide these T-nuts into and then mount it like that. So you've got some T-nuts and you've got some screws and then the case for all that. So I actually have a computer in the garage. So let me move you guys over here and we'll get set up and then actually verify that uh, it's broken like he says it's broken. Maybe you guys can see this. 
We do have our wheelbase in there. So now we need to do the calibration really quick. All right, so there's neutral. There's reverse. So if you can see right here is all the gears and you can see when I put it to any of the gears, yep, nothing. It's just not working. So that is interesting. And uh, that could be a bunch of different reasons. So let's figure it out. Maybe let me just try with the other cable really quick. Ooh, that one says it's in reverse. So I definitely think it's broken. It's stuck in reverse. Let's get set up on the bench over there. And uh, I actually just got some pig mats. It's a huge roll and I don't know if I quite want to open it yet, but it'd be kind of fun. It'd be fun to set this on a pig mat and uh, work on the pig mat. So maybe I'll do that because that sounds fun. All right, well, never had this. Hope this is the right choice. This is a big old roll. Okay, we just want one. One. Minute. Which looks like it ends right here. I think we can even do it. Haha. <laughs> All right, so I got my iFixit kit, which honestly is gonna be pretty good for this. And uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's this bottom panel that we want to pull off. Let's, so let's pull off these four corners there for the T-slots and go from there. Okay, so actually most of the guts seem to be down here. There's a little micro switch for something. Is it? Yeah, that's what it is. So hopefully you guys can see that. So sequential mode, you're just like bringing this plate up from the bottom that will capture the bottom of the, the shifter there. So this is H pattern and you can see the, the gates that you fall into for that. And then when you hit it up in the sequential mode, you, uh, hit this little switch right there. Um, and then most of the actual sensing is done up in here. So we can unplug that, set that off to the side cause that's not screwed up. Uh, it's gonna be down in there, which looks like I can pull off these top screws and pull off this whole thing right here. So that's pretty simple, I like it. This is where we can start trying to figure out what in the world's going wrong. Wow, they actually have quite a bit more circuitry on there than I thought. You can see that spring there. And then where's the... Yeah. So the notchiness is in here and I'm not sure where. Oh, oh, it's right here. So you see they've got an adjustment and probably a ball right right in here. Man, I need to get better at this. So they have a ball right in here and then detents on that dark piece right there. Yeah, you can see the detent right there. Ooh. Okay, found the issue. Do you guys see that right there? And hopefully I can get the reflection. You see how there's a... Uh, it's a little bit blown out on the top there. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure, let me take a closer look, but that definitely should not be blown up and that's probably why it's broken. Hopefully it's focusing and you guys can see that down in there, but right here, 
that little IC, I think it says IC2 on there. Notice how that one has a flat top on in between the pins. And this guy right here is, uh, he's got a little bit of a chunk blown out of him there. <laughs> so definitely that guy's blown up. So we're going to have to figure out what that is and replace that. Um, and then we probably want to find out what blew him up, you know, what caused that to just explode. Luckily, when I plugged it into the computer, it still said that it was a shifter. So I don't think a ton is broken on here. It just, that's probably one of the Hall effect sensors and it's blown up. Problem is getting a new Hall effect sensor might be a bit of an issue right now. So this project might take a while. But let's uh, let's troubleshoot this thing, you know? So, okay, one thing I'll note, and this is why I love Fanatec. Obviously, like, look at all of this. This is built so well. I know some people, like, if anyone has an issue and they, uh, they like to harp on Fanatec for not being, like, the best quality, but I'm sorry, this, this is built so well. Everything's metal in here, and they've just done it the correct way. You know, like even metal screws in here, the wires here, this is silicone. Paying for silicone sheathing on wires is way better, but it's also more expensive. So they definitely have done their engineering, they've done their research, and yeah, you're going to have some issues, but they don't mind taking the hard road and making it right. I actually have another shifter coming today. I bought it before I bought this one and after I lost the bid on this one at first. So I ordered it, I was like, fine, I didn't get the broken one, but we get one that says it's working, but it's a little sketchy. So I should have another shifter coming today that is working, and then we could even read the code off of that one. The other one that's coming today is also way more used, so um, maybe we'll pick this up after that. I, I, there's not too much more. I guess I can try to pull this guy off because we're gonna have to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to look at him. So just undo the clip there. We can tuck the wire down in here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is one small note of how this works right here. You notice how there's this gap in the PCB? If you go like this, you see that silver spot right there. It almost looks like a piece of something shoved into this main carrier. So I'm, that's a magnet. I'm pretty dang sure that's a magnet. And how they're doing, like right here, third to fourth, I can tell you there's a little sensor right there and there's a little sensor right there. So you see, you go into third and it's on top of that sensor almost perfectly. You go into fourth and uh, now it's on top of that sensor almost perfectly. So that's how they're doing third and fourth. And, uh, and then for right to left, it's going to be on this board. Uh, and or, no, because that mainly just looks like some powers. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no processing on this board. It's all passive. So it's just sending some voltages back on, uh, on the wire here. So there's no processor, there's nothing, which is great because it means we can actually replace the sensor and it should work. Like there's no code or anything that we would lose if we replaced any parts on this board. So that's good. So let's get this out. Okay, one other note. When I said you're gonna have issues, um, I don't mean like there's an issue with the design. I mean, putting together a product and selling it to customers, you're gonna have a small mistake somewhere, one of the boards, somewhere in the manufacturing, you know, like it's not gonna be perfect for every single person. And that's just the nature of selling a product. Nothing about Fanatec uh, quality or anything. And I, I do love Fanatec. As I've been, as I've played around with their different products, I've just realized that they they really spend the time to do the engineering and make it nice. And I know they're kind of like they're definitely not low end. They're definitely not like crazy expensive. They they are pretty good mid tier, but I mean they they are doing it well and they're working hard to try to innovate. All right, so yeah. We have uh, those four screws there, and it looks like there's a grounding lug, so let's pull those out. Okay, so now we can look up in here. That little bar come in right there. That's the magnet in there. So as you go right and left, it rotates a little bit, and 
if I had to guess, the poles for the magnet are, in, are on either end there, which kind of makes sense. So now we have the board out here, and you can see that one IC definitely blown up on the top. <laughs> right there. All right, so there's really not much on here, though. It looks like it was placed on there correctly. I'm not sure why it would have blown up. But hey, we have other shifters, so I can at least check it. Yeah, look, even there, you see, it, it got toasty. Discolored the PCB there. See, and it's things like this. Like, this wasn't in the design, this grounding lug right here, but they've spent the time to put it into every single one, so that way they can ground this board to the shifter there. You notice it's just soldered on the, on the plug there, on the female end of that plug. And uh, that wasn't in the original design or else they would have like a hole or another pad for it. So they went after the fact and went, you know what, we can get better reliability and not have less issues if we put this grounding lug in there. So they grounded the whole board. And uh, that's our issue. Now we just need to figure out why. So I'll spend a little time reverse engineering this, pull apart the other shifter and uh, pick up there. First, let me uh, get to put back all these screws so that way I do not lose where they go. As you can see, the bottom definitely is directional, so I've got to rotate it like that. Now it lines up a lot better. As you may have noticed, wardrobe change, and that's because now we're like later in the day and I realized I was going to put this all into one video of fixing it and getting up and running, but I, I, I think that's going to be too long. And so this video has already been long enough, and so that's all the time we have today. We did find at least one of the outcomes of an issue. It might be the issue, but uh, we found that. So, so we need to find out, did this fail because it was bad, or did it fail because of something else was in there? I did get... The other shifter, uh, this one's definitely a bit more beat. You can see it's, uh, yeah, it's a little hammered, but it works. I, I did test it and it works. So between now and the next video, what I'm gonna do is actually pull apart, pull out this same board in there so then I can compare the two. I'm gonna find part numbers, reverse engineer kind of how all this works. And then I'll bring you guys back for when we actually fix it, when we swap out the parts and uh, and get it up and running again. So I hope you subscribe. If you wanna see that, then definitely subscribe. Those will be coming out, and uh, I hope you had fun. We definitely learned some things. This is the first time I've taken this part, and uh, it's kinda of cool. Still impressed with Fanatec Engineering. May call me a fanboy, but I, man, so impressed. And when I do my own engineering, I it, it's exactly like they do it. I, that's what I wanna do. That's the kind of quality I want. Hope to see you guys on the next video. And I hope we can come back to this project real soon. Uh, it'd be great to kind of get this up and running again. A uh, fun announcement is actually we have an Etsy store. We are, we have a sticker, a vinyl that is using the same adhesive that you would like wrap a car with. So it's great against UV. It should go on really well. It's like really high quality 3M vinyl. Um, and they're made to order and I really like the design. I think Sammy's gonna put the design right here. Honestly, I'm in love with it. We have it on all our cars to test, but also I like how they look. So if you guys wanna pick up a sticker, we're gonna put the link down in the description and, uh, and pick one up if you want. But other than that, hope you guys subscribe. Hope to see you next time on the next project. So far, it's been, it's been great. It's been fun and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.